What's up guys? Okay, so it's the start of the new season and you want a 2019 snowboard or you want to grab a 2018 snowboard on the cheap or you just need to get a new snowboard because you just got into snowboarding or you loved it and you just were like, I'm gonna buy my own snowboard instead of renting. So how do you know what size snowboard to buy? Obviously picking the snowboard you want is a whole another video, another story but knowing the size is kind of the most important part because if you're a small guy like me but you buy a big snowboard like a 160, you're gonna struggle because you gotta get the board that fits your size. So the old myth with snowboarding, everyone that was like, oh, I gotta get a snowboard that is my size, all I have to do is take the snowboard, put it next to my face, and if it's underneath my chin, that's my size snowboard. Is that right? Nope, not at all. Okay, so it's it's not a bad method, it'll get the job done, but it's not correct. Snowboards are actually based off weight. That being said, sometimes the snowboard that is your size for your height and your weight actually will line up underneath your chin. Other times, once you gain a little bit more weight, the snowboard you have will not line up with your chin, but it will be still be within that range between your nose and your chin. Or if you're a short dude and you carry a lot of weight, your snowboard's gonna be huge. Okay, so how do we once again find the snowboard that is your size, the correct size? So how are we gonna do that? Well, it's really simple. So we're gonna go into Google really quick. Okay, so once we're on Google, we're gonna type in snowboard size chart. Once we're there, we're gonna click the Evo website guide, because I think this one's the best one. You're gonna scroll down a little bit, and then you're gonna find the size chart. So on the left, you have the rider height, and then you have the rider weight, and then you have the board size. So if you're 5'6 like me, and you weigh between 140 and 155, that puts you in the snowboard size range of 149 to 157. It also means that if you're six foot, and you weigh over 170, 195, that kinda just puts you in the over 160 size. All right, so Jonathan, you didn't really help me because you knew I now have a range of 147 to 157. Like, does that mean I can buy any snowboard in that size range? And yeah, yes, you can. So this is kind of where a preference comes into play. So that is my size chart, and some board companies don't make every single centimeter snowboard. So like, I liked riding the K2 Worldwide Weapon and the snowboard that they had. And with that snowboard, they only made it in a 148. So 149 is my size chart, but I was riding a 148 because I was in my range. And I thought riding a smaller snowboard would help me in the park, help me with my rotations and everything like that. What I learned over time is that I was struggling more with the speed because of how small the board was. So I wanted to do big jumps, but my snowboard was small and I was having more issues getting up a good pop, getting speed to go into the jump. And it's because I was riding more of a, a rail style snowboard, something that's easy to, to rotate onto a rail, rotate off of a rail. But I needed to get a little bit more board so I get more speed. So yes, that means if you go bigger, your board's gonna go faster, you're gonna be more stable. With the 148, I'd be on it and I'd be like super choppy when I was bombing down hills. But now that I'm on a 151, the board is a lot bigger. When I'm doing car, I, I really feel it in my carving, it feels good and my speed has increased. So it comes to the type of rider you are. So are you gonna go into the park, you really wanna learn park? If you're learning park, I think a small board will work for you. If you wanna do a lot of runs, a bigger board. Or if you're kind of an all mountain, like you kinda of wanna go in the park, but you love riding pal, you like doing bowls, things like that, I would lean to more towards the bigger side. But as long as you're in that size range, honestly, when you buy a snowboard, it's not gonna kill you. It just, it might barely affect you. But barely, I mean, you're talking stuff that really won't affect you too bad. It's just gonna help, but you still could do everything. So now, you're a person that wants to buy a snowboard, but you're gonna buy it for off Craigslist or or eBay, you're not gonna buy it from a website that's not gonna tell you the size. So let's say you show up at a garage sale and there's a bunch of snowboards and you're like, man, I always wanted this snowboard. Here's the park pickle and sitting here. What size is it? Well, every snowboard secretly or very blatantly will tell you the size of the snowboard on the snowboard. Now, sometimes this could get rubbed off, so you'll, you'll never really know the size of the snowboard. But if you look really hard on the snowboard, you'll see examples like this and this. That will explain to you where the size of the snowboard is. Obviously, when you're looking into buying a powder board, that's gonna be a whole different thought process, and we can get into that in another video. But overall, if you use this guideline, which I'm gonna link in the description, I promise when you buy a snowboard in your size range based off your height and your weight, you're gonna you're gonna nail it. You're gonna get the board that's gonna work for you and you're gonna love it. Remember, there there's uh, so many styles and types of boards, a lot of it's personal preference. Same thing within that size range. Either 
You might like to ride a smaller board, or you like to ride a bigger board, or you like to hit it right in the middle, and that's where I decided to land was in the middle. I hope this short video helped you guys. I hope you guys get some sick snowboards for this season. If you do, comment it down below in the description. If you have any snowboard questions, comment it in the description, and expect a lot more of these education videos coming soon. So subscribe to the channel because we're going to help you guys become the best snowboarders you can. With that guys, all the Evolution merch is linked in the description. So make sure you grab the stickers, grab a shirt, grab a long sleeve for the warm weather, join Team Huck House, and get ready for the season. Tag me on Instagram at Jonathan Buckhouse so I can give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Keep evolving and we'll see you next time. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody, I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no, I ain't never gonna need nobody, no cliffhanger, yes, I so do, banger, I'm the new man.